A witness has described how passengers tackled a man who allegedly made a false bomb threat on a Malaysia Airlines plane. Flight MH128, bound for Kuala Lumpur, was forced to return to Melbourne after the man tried to enter the cockpit. The flight landed safely and the passenger was arrested, police said, adding it was not terror-related. One passenger said the suspect was carrying a and quote very unusual OBJECT and quote, which police later said was not explosive. And quote he ran down the back aisle and three great Aussie heroes wrestled him to the ground and totally immobilized him and quote, the witness, Andrew Leoncelli, told the BBC. The suspect was a 25-year-old Sri Lankan man who was released from a Melbourne psychiatric facility earlier on Wednesday, said Victoria Police Chief Commissioner Graham Ashton. Police initially treated it as a possible terrorism incident before determining it was and quote a case involving of mental health ISSUE and quote, the commissioner said. Police said the man was carrying a Bluetooth speaker or something similar. MALAYSIA and APOS Deputy Transport Minister Abdul Aziz bin Kaprawi described it as a van quat P O W E R V A N K and quat, the AFP agency said. Mr. Leoncelli, a former professional Australian rules football player, said it had two antennae and what appeared to be a smartphone input. He said the suspect told airline staff he needed to see the captain before becoming and quat really a G I T A T E D and quat and making threats, including making button-pressing motions. And quad I went back to tell the other passengers there was a real threat here, we need to do something and quad, Mr. Leoncelli said. Of the passengers who then overpowered the man, he said, and quad I cannot tell you their names, but they are good fellas. And quad, earlier, Mr. Leoncelli told M E L B O U R N E and APOS S3 A W radio station that the man threatened to and quat blow the plane UP and quat, prompting staff to scream for help. Malaysia Airlines said the Airbus A330, carrying 337 passengers and crew, was in the air for just 30 minutes of its eight-hour flight time before landing. Heavily armed police boarded the plane just before midnight local time, 1400 hours GMT, and placed the man under arrest. Mr. Ashton defended what local media said was a 90-minute delay between the plane landing and police intervention. He said counter-terrorism officers had feared there may be other explosive devices or potential suspects on board. And quad if we had an incident where there were further explosives that were triggered, we could have had a mass casualty incident and quad, he said. And quad decisions had to be made about what was the safest way to get passengers off the plane. And quad, Mr. Ashton said man had been living in Melbourne on a current visa, clarifying earlier information he was an Australian citizen. A number of flights were diverted following the incident, but the airport confirmed it was operating as normal.